Hello everybody, how are you doing today? So yes, as you can see on the screen right now, finally, finally, Easy Duck Camera Version 2 is released. Well, actually it's pre-released, but the, the programmer or the guy who develops this program, um, he actually posted, uh, I'll link it down below, but he posted something in the sim forums today, about 10 hours ago, and um, Basically, if you already have uh, Easy C Easy Duck version one, you get a pretty nice uh, rebate, like somewhat uh, somewhere around sixty five percent discount. And for those who bought uh, Easy Duck after the first December of two thousand sixteen, you actually get it for free. And there's a few steps to follow, but it's pretty easy overall. So what we're going to do today is actually take a first look at it. We're going to install it together and just run through it. Um, as a simmer, as a pretty um, avid sim simmer, as you can see with the add-ons add on the desktop, it's actually a big release for us. EasyDog is a big part, is an integral part of our simulation experience. And this is really something we've all been looking forward to. Uh, a more user-friendly interface, of course, um, more options, more uh, customization. It's really a nice uh, day for us, and I'm sure it's going to bring a whole lot of interesting uh, features. Alright, so let's get going with it. So, uh, you first have to select the version of your simulator. So, I run uh, Flight Simulator Steam Edition, so let's press OK. And you can see there's a new kind of interface, looks quite similar to version 1. Uh, but uh, there you go, it's already done. And uh, that's it. And it says done, you can close the tool. Uh, it has configured the CFG of course. And make sure guys, make sure to uninstall version 1 before installing this one. Uh, to avoid creating conflict of course. So there, uh, once you first launch a flight simulator or P3D, I, I'm not even sure if it's available available for P3D, but once you launch Flight Simulator, you'll actually get this very recognizable uh, security warning from Windows, and of course you want to click on Run, then Yes, because of course we want this beautiful add-on to work. Um, Alright, so let's just get into like uh, standard flight, I guess. Let's take the NGX. So let's say let's take uh, WestJet livery like so. All right, guys. So the first uh, thing you actually see on the screen is this beautiful interface. So as you can see, it says that FSX is connected. It's active. If you have Track IR, um, it will be orange as well. And of course, we're using Flight Simulator X Team Edition, so that's what you see right here. So it even detects your plane right here, which is displayed nicely. And it's the first time I actually look at it, so I'm in no way an expert. All right, guys, so I'm now going to show you how you can import your uh, the files for the virtual cockpit. So what you want to do first is go to the website. And to access this website, what I did, but there are many ways, of course, but if you uh, want to uh, go to it quickly, just uh, go on online help, links, and then number two, which is download camera sets, which will bring you right here. Now, if you're using Flight Simulator, don't panic. There are no actual files for Flight Simulator X at the moment. Remember, it's pre-release, so it's not complete yet. But what you can simply do is download um, download a file, download the P3D file, which I'll show you right now. So download it. You, you'll get a zip like so. Open it. And what I did is basically just extract it to my desktop. And then what you can easily do is either, sorry, either drag it here or you go into File, Import Camera Set, and then simply just click on it and double click or you click and open. So let's go back into Flight Simulator and let's look at 
Easy Duck version 2. So everything looks fine. Um, maybe wh what it said there was a warning if you actually use the P3D for Flight Simulator, you might uh, want to like tune or uh, fine tune the, the zooms. But it actually <laughs> looks pretty cool right now. So, and as you can already see, the transitions are quite different. It kind of mimics head movement a lot better and it displays um, the whole overhead this time. I don't know if you guys had this, but uh, what I often had to do with version 1 is actually uh, set my own using, of course, the presets, but actually modify them. But this looks just marvelous to me. APU switches, pedestal, then you got aircraft as well. So there's no transition, it's simply direct transition but it looks simply stunning, which is always good. Let's go back into the cockpit. Let's check out a few more features. This is just a first look. Uh, if you guys like this video, I'll make uh, another tutorial. But um, so let's click on walk around. So we should be able to walk around just like so with the uh, arrow keys. So it's very smooth, uh, feels very nice. I hope it's not too laggy on the screen. I'm actually recording the screen and not the game, as you've noticed. Um, and of course, you can switch your, uh, you can uh, set, sorry, your cameras to joystick or keyboard. So let's say I it doesn't seem to be recognizing my joystick. Let's set joystick configuration. So that's what you gotta do first. So let's do it like so, throttle here, and then it does, so that's that's great. All right, it looks good, very smooth indeed. Now let's try the joystick, works like a charm, sweet. All right, so, uh, well, my first impressions, uh, first of all, very nice interface, very clean, uh, that's that, that's what we wanted to see. Uh, then you have, of course, you, you'll have a lot of new effects and stuff. Uh, we're not gonna go into get into details into this today. Uh, there's a lot of twos <laughs> in that sentence, but um, I hope this gave you a nice first look at Easy Dog version 2.0. Uh, I'll be making more videos in the next few days about it, showing you the different features. Um, but this is pretty much to get the word out that it's actually out. Uh, it's not on the official Flight 1 um, website right now, but you can get it on, on the forums, which I will link down below. So really, uh, and look around, look at that. It's just so smooth. Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, first look at uh, Easy Duck. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm pleased with it. I'm pleased with my first impressions. Now we're just gonna uh, wait and see what it delivers and the many patches uh, to come and support to come. Alright guys, so if you like this video, I'll be making more, uh, not just related to Easy Doc, to Flight Simulator in general. So uh, if you like, subscribe, like this video, share it, whatever, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.